Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Walking Thoughts Nebraska. We haven't posted in a while but this time we want to share with you our wicked adventure in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines is the capital and the most populous city in the state of Iowa. It is also the county seat of Polk County. It was incorporated on September 22, 1851 as Fort Des Moines, which was shortened to Des Moines in 1857. Our first stop for the day is the Iowa State Capitol. This is commonly known as the Iowa State House. This is the seat of the Iowa General Assembly, the building houses of the Iowa Senate, Iowa House of Representatives, the Office of the Governor, and the offices of the Attorney General, and so on. As we walk to the building, we get to see the map of the state of Iowa. All of these names here are the cities or the counties here, and you get to see how wide and vast they are. The Capitol is located at East 9th Street and Grand Avenue, and you can see that it sits atop the hill that offers panoramic view of the city. There was construction and happening around, so we have to go look far away, but this building also includes a chamber for the Iowa Supreme Court, although court activities usually take place in the neighboring Iowa Supreme Court building. Closer to the building, you're going to see that there are various monuments and memorials that are on its sides and front. The monuments include Soldiers and Sailors Monument and Lincoln and Tad Statue. When we got inside the building, we are able to see how magnificent it is inside. There was a tour group that was able to go around the building as well, but we didn't join it anymore so that we could enjoy the place at our own pace. Online, it is shared that there are 29 types of imported and domestic marble that were used in the interior of this building. The woods used were walnut, cherry, catalpa, butternut, and oak. One of the displays here is the U.S. battleship Iowa, and there are also battle flags carried by the Iowa Regiment in various wars, that are presented here on the main floor. That mural that you saw is a mural painting named Westward, an idealized representation of the coming of the people who made Iowa. The painting was completed shortly after the start of the 20th century. The artist wrote of it, the main idea of the picture is a symbolical presentation of the pioneers led by the spirits of civilization and enlightenment. In the central rotunda, suspended beneath the ceiling on wires, is a very large banner of the insignia of the Grand Army. Our second stop of the day is the Iowa Women of Achievement Bridge. After a short walk from our hotel, we are able to reach this bridge. This bridge links the east and west sides of Des Moines at the northern edge of the principal river walk loop. On the way to the Iowa Women Achievement Bridge, this is the pathway. On that left side, you're able to see some sculptures that represent the African-American culture here in Iowa as well. You're going to see the Wells Fargo Arena and on the right side, there's the bridge. The bridge features two separate pathways, one for walkers and joggers and the other one for bicyclists. We came here a little bit after our lunch and it was a cloudy day but still we didn't see the lights but during the night they said that this has colorful lights that reflect onto the water and truly make it a beautiful sight to see. This bridge is a 434 feet long bridge and is part of a recently completed 70 million Riverwalk project here in Des Moines, Iowa. Music 
our third spot and the last stop for the day is the Robert D. Gray Asian Gardens here also in Des Moines. This is just right after the bridge, easy access and able to be enjoyed by everyone. The gardens feature Asian sculptures, lanterns, and beautiful landscaping. At the south entrance of the gardens, you pass through the gateway for diversity and come to the diversity circle. After that 37-foot tall Chinese pavilion, we are now in the character garden. In this character garden, six granite boulders form a circle. Each boulder is inscribed with Chinese characters that symbolize the morals of trustworthiness, caring, respect, fairness, citizenship, and responsibility. We are going to end our video here so that we can relax and enjoy the view. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like button, and the notification bell as well. That way, whenever we have a new video, you'll be updated. We'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for joining us!